Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm here the Cross with you again here today, bringing you some more IW action. In this video, we're doing our new weapon Wednesday series, and today we're going to be looking at the Volk, the Volk Goliath, uh, to be specific. And there is no semi automatic native assault rifle in this game like there are in most Call of Duties. In uh, Black Ops 3, you had the Shiva, and uh, you know, in different Call of Duties, you had semi automatic guns. Well, this Goliath brings the semi automatic weapon. To this Call of Duty, and uh, as you can see, it has spike, which deals increased damage but fires one bullet at a time. It also has focus, which reduces the idle play while I mean on sights. Focus is a common perk on a lot of different guns. Uh, as far as I know, spike this is the only gun with spike, it is a rare perk, and you can't find it anywhere else. So, our damage is going to be increased, but our fire rate is going to be greatly decreased. Well, depending on how fast your trigger finger is, and we're going to see how fast mine is here in a minute. But uh, anyway, I went with uh, foregrip, quick draw, and stock. And actually, since this is semi-automatic, uh, I think we're going to take stock off and add uh, yeah, particle lamp, now that I think about it. And uh, with my perks, I decided to switch it up a little bit. I went dexterity, ghost, tag resist, and uh, dead silence. I just prestige. I'm master prestige 16 now. So I don't have many score streaks available, so we're going for UAV, Scorchers, and uh, an advanced UAV in this game. We're also using the Warfighter because my contract is 125 kills with a Warfighter, Merc, or Striker rig. So uh, and also 125 kills with a sniper rifle, but we can't do that in this video. Anyway, uh, we're going to jump into a team deathmatch match and uh, see what we can do. Alright, here we go. Jump into a match on Dominion. It's a long range map, you would assume the Volt Goliath, since it's a semi automatic, that this would be a suitable map for it, but we will see. It has quite a bit of kick. I played a couple practice matches matches before this, so uh, we'll see what we can do. We're going to push around this side first if we can't take control of this hill over here. The Volk is not one of my favorite weapons. To me, I don't know, there's something about it. It seems like bullets don't hit when they should. There we go, nice start. Oh, where was he? I didn't see him. Alright, well. He does not want us to have this hill. This other kid's not here anymore. We're gonna try to play tactical. The fire rate for this gun. Okay, he is still there. Just camping. In the strangest places he can possibly find. Look at that. First one hits, second one doesn't. Oh my gosh. Okay. Got to play tactically. We're gonna stay in about. Long medium gun ranges. Gunfights. Like that. So we can't find this camper. They can't come up. Alright, there we go. Alright, ooh, kid just got triple. These kids are pushing this way. There we go. I honestly thought I missed that kill. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and pick up. No, we're not. He doesn't have a gun. There we go. We've got 10 bullets left. So the Volk isn't one of my favorite guns. I've never really liked using it. It seems inaccurate, I guess. I don't know. Although, we seem to be connecting right now. Okay, we can't go under that. These new maps are still kind of... foreign to me. There we go. This 
kids trying to push into here. There you go, a little sniper action for you. Y'all didn't expect to see that in this game. And uh, we're not really using the bolt. We ran out of ammo, so... Anyway, we'll continue to talk about it. The fire rate on it is slow, which I know I've said it many... Many times. Oh, oh. Oh, we almost died right there. Uh, go ahead and throw this out. Use these. Okay, looks like they're trying to come up this way. Got one, two. Oh, there's one up here. If they, if they would increase the fire rate on the bolt, in my opinion, it would be so much better. For the Goliath thing. That was a dumb challenge. Alright, but at least we get our bulk back now. Okay. Y'all can see it a little bit more. Okay. That kid had no clue what was going on. Is a two shot kill, but you have to be super accurate. If you're not a super accurate player, this gun's gonna do nothing but frustrate you. Because when you miss one bullet, you're not going to beat a K-Bar or an MV4 or anything like that. Pretty much, unless they're just super bad like that, you're not going to beat them out. And that's just one shot. But, uh... Oh. He was still injured from our previous gunfight. This map suits this gun really, really well. Okay. Thought I saw someone. Then we get shot from another direction. We're actually doing really, really well. I said I, I struggle with this weapon at our current pace because. It's not suitable for most maps. You can't play close range with it at all. And it's just not as powerful as... And I'm missing a bunch of shots right there. It's not as powerful... Uh oh. It was cool. It's just not as powerful as a lot of uh, Call of Duty single fire weapons are. And I feel like it's not accurate. I feel like there's some shots, I and mean, this, this is the bulk in general, not just the Goliath. I feel like a lot of shots that should hit don't. I don't know if the bullets fly slower for the bulk or what. I don't know. I really don't know. I've, I'm not a fan of the bulk. Uh, I'm not a fan of this gun. Uh, the fire rate's really slow. You can pull the trigger as fast as you want. It will not fire any faster. Uh, it's not going to be a gun that's going to go up against the K-Bar or the MV4 or the Type 2 and have a lot of success. You're, um, it's not going to be able to beat SMGs in close range, which, most assault, which you don't really expect assault rifles to do. Uh, I don't know. I just, I'm not a fan of it. The iron sights are horrible. They're bulky. They fill up the whole screen. Um, I don't know. I just don't have a lot of good to say about it. If they would increase the fire rate, it would be a lot better gun. But it takes too long to get two bullets in. The K-Bar at medium range, if they're accurate, 
is going to beat it out every single time. And you're not going to beat out an MV4 from range. It has a lot of kick. I could have put a foregrip on it. That may would have helped. Uh, it might have helped a lot. I don't know. A lot of use a lot of times using a certain gun has everything to do with the setup. A lot of times, if you find the right setup, it can be a beast, and the setup can be different for you than it is for me. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment, and uh, subscribe. Thanks, guys.